So I actually have a few important things to cover today, including some announcements for this channel, some stuff I'm really excited about, and also an unboxing of a custom mask from Rubber Gorilla. I say custom, it's one that was selected from his website and customized, but yeah. I've been waiting for this for close to a month now. Uh, obviously, he's catching up from the Halloween period. It must have been mental, so I'm so, so excited to be opening this. And the announcements do kind of involve this mask in some way. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Now, if you don't already know who Rubber Gorilla is, you should definitely check him out on, I think he's on Instagram, uh, the website. It's just rubbergorilla.co.uk or something. I don't know. But he specializes in horror masks and they are out of this world. He was vending at For the Love of Horror Convention this year, had a chat with the guy, lovely guy, super talented. Uh, hand makes every mask individually and honestly they're all just incredibly cool i was tempted to buy multiple at the convention uh unfortunately they do have a bit of a price tag but 100 percent worth it for what they are if anything cheap for what they are so i'll stop blabbing and uh get into this box is my address being on show no it's on the back okay here we go so this mask was i believe it was oh i had a name like Gustav or something, the character. Oh boy. Okay, so here we go. Oh, wow. So we have some leaflets here that kind of show off some of the cool stuff that Robo Gorilla does. Hopefully you can see that without the light reflecting. Uh, here's some of the options he has on the, uh, the website. And there's a little bit about Neil, the guy that runs it on the back here. Very, very cool. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay. God, it's got some weight to it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's try not to spoil this before we get into it. Look how thick that is. Jesus. Okay. My goodness. So. That is. Wow. So the mask that this is based. Oh cool. There was a pin badge in there. So the mask that this was based on. The character on the website. The mask is yellow. I asked for a more uh, greeny blue and I sent like a Photoshop mock-up that I did and I, it's been nailed. He absolutely nailed it. But here we go. Look at that, my friends. That is phenomenal. The way the hair is attached to the skull. That's insane. That looks so good. I don't know if the camera is doing this justice. I really hope it is. Uh, but that is unbelievable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe turn some lights off and I'm going to put this on. So bear with me. I really hope this looks cool on camera because it really does look amazing in person. Give you guys a spin. I've not been talking to the mic. Uh, I'm absolutely blown away by this thing. That pulled my hair real bad then, but <laughs> that's not a complaint. Uh, it just shows the quality of the rubber. It's phenomenal. Like, look at the blood. Look at the blood on this. It looks real. It looks like it's still wet. I'm absolutely blown away. Neil, if you ever see this, my friend, you are an absolutely ta super talented legend. It's, uh, it's incredible. Thank you so much for making this for me. I already want to order another. It's incredible. So onto the, the news, the announcements. I did ask Neil's permission for this. Um... I essentially, what I want to do is I want to use this mask as a base to essentially create a channel mascot almost. So I love the design of this mask, of this character. I'm going to use it as a base. To, I'm going to take some photos in it. I'm covered in hair from him. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to take some pictures. I've got a friend of mine who's a, a great artist who's going to come up with some cool designs. And we're going to have like a cool channel mascot, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so what I want from you guys is some name suggestions for this character. I know that Neil had a name from on the channel, on the website. I think it was Gustav. I might be misremembering, but yeah. Uh, I want to have my own unique one. And the other thing that's going to come from that then is, and the, it's a rough plan at the moment, I want to create a short film series based on this character as my own original slasher character. 
Now, this is a long-term plan. Obviously, I'm working on quite a lot of live action content at the moment. We've got the Batman vs. Red Ranger thing for the Batcave and the Sixth Ranger, which is... Oh, it's been so close to done for so long, I just need a, a, a VFX artist. If you know any, send them my way. And on the Broken Sword, we are working on the Guard. That's been a long, long production. But, you know, we've had the first full day of shooting. It was incredible. Again... Go to the Broken Sword if you're interested in more about that. But this is the next one I'd love to work on. And I feel like he could definitely have the potential to be quite an iconic slasher character. So yeah, that's the plan going forward. I think that's a, quite an exciting bit of news if you're a horror fan and if you've followed any of my filmmaking in the past. I think it's quite exciting. So yeah, there we are. I've got nothing negative to say about this mask. It's absolutely incredible. It looks beautiful in person. I really hope that the camera has done it justice because to eye, it looks incredible. And it feels incredible too. Again, I'll leave a link to Rubber Gorilla in the description down below. I wish I had like a discount code or something to give you, but this is not a sponsored video. It's genuinely, I just bought this from Neil because I was so impressed with what I saw at For the Love of Horror, as I'm sure everybody that was there was. I, I've re had this here for like two days. Oh, dude. I've had this here for two days and I've been so excited to open it, but didn't have the chance to film a video. So... I've done this now. I'm now going to uh, wear it home and terrify my family. So <laughs> thank you all so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. And remember, stay scared, dead scared.